Welcome back to Educator.com. This lesson is about solutions, acids, and bases. A solution is a homogeneous mixture where the components of the mixture are evenly mixed. So it looks uniform. It's all the same color, um, density. It's, it really looks like the same throughout. So in a solution, one substance is dissolved into another substance. The substance that is dissolved is called the solute. And the substance doing the dissolving is the solvent. Okay. So for example, if we had um, salt water evenly mixed in a solution, uh, the salt is what has dissolved. So that's the solute. And the solvent in this case is the water. The solvent is a liquid that's able to dissolve the solute. Um, solutes commonly are solids, but they can be liquids and gases as well. For carbonated water, um, carbonated water is when uh, carbon dioxide is added to the water, and that's what the bubbles are um, in the drink. So in that case, the CO2, the carbon dioxide gas, is what has dissolved into the water. So what has dissolved is your solute, and the thing doing the dissolving, the substance doing the dissolving, is the water, the solvent. Okay. So in terms of dissolving, I said a lot of the times it is a solid, but it can be a liquid or a gas. The movement of the molecules causes the solute to break apart and mix evenly throughout the solvent. So before, the salt water, when the salt molecules and the water molecules came together, that's what allowed the salt to break down when the water kind of like got in there and broke those uh, uh, light bonds, those weak bonds apart. And it breaks down the salt and dissolves evenly throughout the mixture. So liquids and gases can dissolve pretty easily. Um, if you take two liquids and put them together, so if you put um, food coloring into um, a, a, a jar of water, your food coloring will go in as a streak and kind of swirl around down to the bottom. And eventually what's going to happen is the liquids will mix evenly throughout on their own and that's really like the liquid dissolving into the liquid until you end up with a jar that's uniform in color, um, uniform in color, uh, density, uh, clearness, uh, yeah. In a, ga a gas can go in, so if you had a beaker of, of water and you added the carbon dioxide gas, uh, the gases will just immediately start to move evenly throughout and stay that way in the mixture. Now if you take a solid, a solid alloy solution is what a, a solid uh, solution is called, usually an alloy. Um, you can't stick two solids together and expect them to just mix on their own. What you have to do is you have to melt them down. So you can take two different metals, melt them down, they'll mix up nicely into a solution, um, and then you let it cool and harden, and then you have an alloy. You have a metal that is a hard metal that is an alloy. It's actually still called a solution, even though it's a solid. So a liquid dissolves a solid at the surface of the solid. So if I have a chunk of, let's say, sugar. I have a chunk of sugar here. The liquid comes in and can only dissolve from the surface, and then it will move its way in. So as it comes in, it'll slowly start breaking off little sugar molecules until the sugar starts to break down more and more more sugar molecules are dissolved until finally the surface of the solid has been affected by all the solvent that's there and then it's just completely broken apart. Since water is a polar molecule it works really well as a solvent. Um, what do I mean by that? We remember what the polar versus nonpolar means. Water has ends 
that are charged. So oxygen has a slight negative charge and the hydrogen has a slightly positive charge. And what that does is it's attracted to um, slight charges in the, in the solutes molecules. And what that does is it's able to kind of get in there, be attracted, and break up those weak bonds between molecules and break it down. Any solution where water is the solvent, that's what we call an aqueous solution. Okay.